for the life of me, I do not understand why the G923 Xbox Edition doesn't work on Microsoft. It, it doesn't make any sense. So when I try to play Forza Horizon 5, it keeps on popping an error message saying something about can't connect to the controller or connection lost or something like that. It's like unplayable. It just keeps on popping up as soon as you step on the pedal or turn the steering wheel or whatsoever. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a full complete tutorial with all the ins and outs, what you got to do to make it to work. So I'm not going to take any shortcuts. I did try to follow a few other people. It was so darn difficult because they continue like you think you know what you're doing, but you actually don't. So anyway, what we're going to do is we are going to open Google Chrome. There is two things we got to download. So the first thing we got to download is called VJoy. VJoy is a program that fools your Microsoft to think that there is a new controller in, but it's not. So anyway, we're going to say VJoy download. So do know that this is a third party source. It's not the VJoy link itself. So I got mine from SourceForge. Uh, didn't have any viruses or any problems. Just be careful for stuff like this. Even here, I see a soft tonic. They're also very reliable. But that's my opinion. Once again, keep your antivirus on. We're going to go to download. We're going to have a quick, awesome, cool countdown over here. Happy New Year! <laughs> Alright, so here we go. VJoy is installing. Okay, so you know what we can do? We might as well just quickly go into it. So we get it we're just going to say run. Yes. So do note, I want to... Hey, sorry guys, I, I just forgot. I had it installed previously and it uninstalled. Now you're going to reinstall it. So we're going to quickly go here. We're going to say next, next, install. So at this point of a year, I just want to tell you guys something. This is where I got stuck. At this point, sometimes it wouldn't pop up this message at all, but the green bar will be full. So all you have to do is just say control alt delete and you can just close it. It's going to work. But in my case, it said it's fine. We can minimize this. Uh, I just want to close this because I had to record this video because I forgot to tell you guys that. So over here, we're just going to type in VJoy, our configure VJoy. We're going to say yes. So please make sure your settings is the same as mine. Technically, all of these on the sides are going to be the same, but over here, we're going to have 128. Make sure it's on four directions and the POVs is on one. That's all you need to do. You're going to press apply, goodbye, awesome. You're going to close that up. So for the second thing you're going to do is you're going to have to go in and type in Forza EMU wheel other already typing there in for me so you're gonna search forza emu wheel download so this is technically a program that was used on forza horizon 4 back then when the the steering wheel wasn't compatible but now it is though so we're gonna go here at forza emu wheel under forza tools weebly <laughs> okay we're gonna go and click on that and then we are gonna say download all right so here we go so it's gonna download it in a zip folder so we're just gonna open it we're gonna Copy everything in here. Control C. I don't know where's the. And this we say extract, but I'm just gonna say Control C. We're gonna minimize everything. We're gonna say new folder, folder number three. We're gonna go and Control V to paste it in. So here we go. We got these three things. They are the most important. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure everything. So for us to set it up, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn on. Where is it? Over here. This is my steering wheel, my G923. So we are going to set this up. So we're going to go over here to steering. We are going to say set. So now we're going to move over. So this is going to be a lot of back and forth movement. So as you guys saw, I just turned it a little bit and it registered it straight away. You can turn it any direction. It doesn't matter. We are going to leave combined. We don't want that. We're going to say throttle. So we're going to say set. We're going to go over here to the throttle. We're going to step on that. We're going to go to brake. So I know this sounds stupid. The G923, in my personal opinion, the brake is really horrible. So I usually put it on my clutch. So now I'm stepping on clutch. Do not mind that. Oh, we missed it. Let's try that again. There we go. So for, the, for now, I don't use the clutch at all. But obviously, you can put your brake. You can put your clutch. Handbrake, I usually press B on my keyboard because I don't have the actual handbrake. So I'm not going to do that. We're going to press our D-pads. Our D-pad are these up and down arrows over here. You can press any direction. So that was the easiest part is this. So now we literally got to go and set up everything else. We're going to go to uh, Xbox view, which is this one over here. 
uh, set, and we're gonna do this entire thing. So we're gonna go to menu, set this button over here. So obviously you can set it up as you wish. Xbox A is the A button. Uh, let's go. Let's go the B button. Xbox B. Uh, Xbox X. There we go. I wonder how this looks like on the camera. You just see a hand popping in the entire time. <laughs> Xbox Y. I'm just going to do this regardless so you guys can see if you've got any questions. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, all the way to 16. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, the first time I actually tried to do this, I, I went and just typed in here. Xbox uh, G923 button numbers. Because sometimes this can actually help you out. I think I went to images. Let's just have a look. So we gotta look for the Xbox version. That's the PlayStation version. Give me a second quick. So right over here on the right hand side, it's probably one of the best ones I could have gotten for now. Uh, so we're gonna quickly go back to our configuration. We're gonna say set. So I see number seven here is the menu button. We're not gonna assign that. There is number eight. Number nine is this bottom one. So we're gonna say number nine. We're gonna press this one over here. Uh, number 10 I see is the one on the other side There is probably a better place to get all of these information of which buttons is on which uh, Assigned to which one on the steering wheel the problem is most of the things I get is for the PlayStation version and not the Xbox version The only thing I think is differently is maybe just these uh, X a B and Y with the triangle square X and circle So anyway, let's quickly continue from number 10 we got 11 12 we're just gonna leave all of those for now so we're gonna say previous gear is gonna be the left shift uh let me just stand up it's gonna make things a little bit easier oh never assigned come on work with me there we go i had to click that a few times i don't know why um let's quickly go to the next gear is the right hand side one uh we're gonna say sit Let's quickly go next gear, so previous gear, so we are a oh, reverse gear, so this is our joystick, so we're going to press it in, take it to the side, and down. Perfecto, so now we're going to do this massive long process of going through all the gears. First gear, this is where you call your girlfriend, we are like, can you quickly just put it first gear, second gear, you know, <laughs> it's going to make life so much easier. Um, gear number three. It's better just to assign everything now and make sure everything is done with because after this you've got to set everything up on Forza. So you're technically going to do the same thing twice. Um, here number five. So this is obviously just for your VJoy that you installed that's kind of emulating what's going for what. It's scared. Then you've got to assign it on, uh, what do you call it, on Forza as well. It's kind of like doing double the job. So here we got all the gears and we've got all of these things. So also what I did notice now is that we never did our, oh yeah, we did do it, don't worry. Okay, so once you're done, you're gonna say save configuration, configuration saved. So you can go and close that up, let's minimize that. So we're back over here in our configurator folder from the EMU wheel. So now that we're actually done with it, let me just quickly turn all of that stuff off. So we're gonna go to hush. So Hush is technically the program that will make sure if there is the error message popping up that it will be muted if it makes any sense. So that con that con what controller lost thingy, it will be muted so it won't pop up the entire time. So you're gonna just minimize it, do not close it. You're gonna go to Forza EMU wheel and so you've already configured it so all you're gonna say is start. So now that that is done, we are gonna go into Forza Horizon 5. Let me just also put these things on. I don't know why I switched it off so I can just show you guys that it's working. Uh, okay, so let's quickly just give it its moment. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to options. Then we're going to go to controls. And right over here, I used to get stuck because no one showed you how to do it. For some people, they're just so quick that it already pops in. Let me hit enter. Oh, so if you hit enter, it goes in. So here we got controller, keyboard, and wheels. So obviously you can go to your custom wheel profile one. So now you're gonna do exactly the same. You get your accelerate, you're gonna step on your uh, your throttle pedal. Your brake, your brake, your steering turn left or right, your e-brake. So this is where you're gonna set everything up. Let me just quickly press B over here. Uh, where is it? Still button number four. So obviously we got a bunch of stuff over here. 
So I don't think that anything has drastically changed because I've mostly put everything back to where it was. So we're going we to quickly go into a new game. Well, not a new game. We're just going to continue. So my driving is going to be horrible because I've got a screen right here in front of me, but I'm too lazy to go into the back of the computer now to put it on the big screen. I'm playing with the screen there on the, the desk. So we're going to make a left turn. And there we go. We are off. There we go, small drift. Oh, oh crap, oh, we missed it. So the great thing about it is that there is, what do you call it, uh, force feedback. And there we go, as you guys can see, obviously my force feedback is not set to so high. Let's see if I can get it to shake a bit. Oh, there you guys can see. So there is force feedback. Oh yeah. So this is working really great. Once again, do know that you're actually playing off an emulator kind of thing. So it will never be spot on. For example, uh, it feels to me like sometimes if you turn, let's give a little turn, like this, it doesn't feel like, you guys will see, sometimes it feels like you gotta go right, right, right. But in general, it works. You guys can play, you guys can learn how to do it. Get used to it being bad, so one day when it does come out being great, you guys will be freaking amazing with this game. So anyway, guys, there we go. I do hope that this actually helped a few people out. If it did, make sure to drop a big like. If you can still, please, if you can still find that uh, button layout for the Xbox version, please let me know in the description below. Oh, sorry, the comments. Uh, because, yeah, I, I would love to just have it. I went through my box, my the box that I got my G923 in, and it's not there. I'm like, what the heck? What do you mean? Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a big like. If you'd love to support the channel, especially if you're new, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right, and then I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out.